So here he is representing New Zealand and of course Nigeria. Enter the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. We've certainly enjoyed our time getting to know this young man in our fighter meetings. He has a high fight IQ, he's a thinking man's fighter, and obviously the physical skills jump off the film every time. Yeah, he's got it all. I mean, the guy has it all. And as you watch him walk to the octagon, he has a confidence in the air about him that many don't possess. He has always known he would become a champion of the world. He proved that he can do it. Now it's time to show whether or not he can do it again. Sometimes getting back is harder than getting there the first time. Let's see what Israel Adesanya can do to try to become the middleweight champion. And certainly the discipline, the motivation, all that stuff is still there. And there was a definite intensity to him here during the fight. We will see if he can share that into the desired result. Here he is, the newly minted UFC middleweight champion, Alex Pereira. Tremendous frame, tremendous skills. Every time he walks, I wonder how he makes 185 pounds. It's crazy what he balloons back up to on the day after the fight, but he makes the weight when he steps on the scale. And also, he has one of the more fun walkouts that I usually get to experience. He pays homage to where he is from when he makes that walk. And when he goes into the octagon, he shows what a savage he is in terms of his fighting ability. High-level kickboxing, one of the best in the world. And when he left the kickboxing world to compete in mixed martial arts, he did so with the goal of beating Israel Adesanya. Mission accomplished November of 2022. Alex Pereira back on the horse tonight. Championship fight. We send it inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> of the world. This is the first fighting out of the blue corner. Presenting the challenger, Israel, the last style bender, Adesanya. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, Alex Politan Perea! And there's Herb Dean. Great he fight. will handle the action Great. inside the octagon. Let's do it. All right, we are underway with this stand-up only fight. As we remind you of the rule set here, no grappling or wrestling of any type. Fighters also cannot do any follow-up strikes on the floor. May the best man win, and we are underway. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Well, I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Birds over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly legs. All right, same bat time, same bat channel. You think he's going to look to set up that hook again here? I mean, you can see it, John. You can see him doing it. You can see him sneaking looks to see where that hand is going to be. He sneaking looks because he's going to find the opportune time to drop that big hook over the top. 
just out of range with that. Oh, he's hurt bad. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh! Just over three minutes now to go. Israel Adesanya's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. Nice body to run of the yoga. Oh, a huge block there. Just misses there with the left. His opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Oh, big left. Man, has his chin been tested early. Big right hand. Oh, oh he is stunned. Drunk driving out there. We'll see if he can recover. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect. How are they standing? What a flying into the head. Whoa! Stools now, and he is no longer the handsome man we once knew. That gash is getting serious. All right, so now we have some real adversity. There's a cut on the nose. Hard to know if that's impacting the breathing, but some definite damage in that previous round. Yeah, some real damage. And now when you get a cut like that, that is in a bad spot. Because every time you get hit on the nose, it's so jarring. And then the blood starts to go down into the mouth. He's got an uphill battle ahead of him. You ready to fight? You ready? Second round underway. Oh, that strike to the body, man. Great defense. That punch had no chance. Back to the feet now. Something about. Oh, right hand. Well, he rocked him, but couldn't finish him. He rocked him. He hurt him bad. He couldn't find that one. Oh, no. Oh, a hook to the head by Padilla. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Oh, he's hurt. He's hurt away. Bad. back inside the octagon for the official decision. It resides with Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 49 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Alex Holotov.
I mean, I have run out of superlatives when it comes to describing this. Alex Pereira gets it done by knockout tonight. This dude was 3-1 and one when he made his UFC debut. It's crazy. It's so crazy to see how far Everybody he's come in such a short period of time. Now, the result is a surprise because that's what